Hi guys, welcome to TechBus Blocks. Myself Vinod Kumar. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn about Kamunda Platform 8. So first of all, what is Kamunda? So Kamunda is one of the most popular business process project management tool to automate our business. Okay, so Kamunda is one of the vendor for supporting BPM1. So what is mean by BPM1? So BPM stands for B business process modeling and notation. Okay. So if you want to know the detailed description and detailed about Kamunda, please watch my old videos. Okay. So where I, I explained in depth knowledge of each and every task Kamunda and in depth details of the Kamunda basically. Okay. So in this tutorial, mostly we are going to cover Kamunda 8. What are the features they introduced? How to uh, you utilize the Kamunda 8, how to deploy, how to uh, create the Kamunda 8 task and all the stuffs. Okay. Okay. So fine. So when you are going to introduce some business, like right? for example, you are going to develop one leave management tool. Okay. For your business. So it has to, the request has to come from the uh, employee and uh, manager has to approve the request. HR has to approve other this type of business automation tools, right? You can utilize this Kamunda features. Okay. So then what is Kamunda 8 actually? Okay. So Kamunda is ma mainly we are calling as a universal process orchestrator. What is means actually? So when you are working with uh, uh, big obligations, right? So you may face lot of uh, issues between the business uh, business team and development team and all the things right so it orchestrates complex business process between the people system and device it means it is helping the developers and business team and users these all three people can collaborate and can develop the end-to-end -end process easily okay so that is what it is it is means actually so coming to the next step what is the history of this Kamunda, right? Kamunda 7 introduced in 2013, okay, with the embedded workflow engine, okay. Kamunda 8 is introduced in 2022 with cloud native workflow engine. So, if you already know about Kamunda 7, so you know that you will just uh, inject your Kamunda dependencies into your application and it will work as a embedded workflow engine, right? Kamunda 8 is completely different. You are going to inject a what is that cloud dependency into your project so you need to interact with the cloud okay so that is what the overall view of the Kamunda right I mean Kamunda 8 so hope you understood if something if you want to know more please watch my uh, upcoming videos to understand in depth knowledge of Kamunda 8 and how it is working and all the things okay thanks guys thanks for watching bye bye